So guys, welcome back to Motoring PSUs. Today, we are doing an undervolting tutorial for your GTX 1060, be it the 3GB model, but also the 6GB model. And I am doing it online this time because a friend of mine had a GTX 1060 that was overheating dramatically. It was going close to 80 degrees and uh, that of course causes performance losses. So by undervolting, you can first of all reduce your temperature and that will in turn give you a performance benefit, especially in the 1% lows and frame stability. So let's get straight into it. To do this, you will need to have Heaven Benchmark running, link down below, and you will also need MS Afterburner opened, link down below. Then you wanna go on settings and enable voltage control and voltage monitoring, then hit OK. This way you can see the voltage your card is running at. Now, step number one, max out the power limit and temp limit okay all the way to the right now you want to hit here and bring up the curve editor this is the curve your card runs at at this point we want to artificially and temporarily lower the curve by minus 250 right there as you can see it lowers a bit now you want to go on the 900 millivolt voltage point just go there grab it and bring it up all the way to 1900. It can be anything around 1900. It can be like 1910, 199, whatever it is. Right there, at this point, you hit apply. There we go. As you can see, the curve flattens, and now your GPU will constantly, when it's not, uh, of course, just when it's under load, run at 900 millivolt and around 1900 megahertz. So. Previously, it was running at 1050 millivolts, so we had a 150 millivolt drop, and this will lower our temperature dramatically. As you can see, we are now at 70 degrees, but it will actually go lower, um, and this card will stabilize at around 67 degrees after the undervolt, which is extremely good. Now, in case you're still watching, because the tutorial is already finished, you can just copy it, but a couple extra tips. So, if you wanna get some extra performance, you can also do some memory overclocking. So how you do this is, with your profile already enabled, you go on your memory clock and you go up by 100 megahertz at a time until your benchmark starts artifacting, so giving you uh, weird lights, or it crashes. So we do 100, all good, 200, all good, 300, all good. And basically you have to test it out a bit, but in my card, we can do 700 stable. And this gives you quite a bit of performance increase. So these are the settings for my card, but in case you're still here, you can actually tune the curve a bit more. So nine, 900 millivolt and 1900 megahertz is the sweet spot, but you don't necessarily have to do it here. So how this works is the lower the millivolt, the lower the temperature and the higher the megahertz, the higher the performance. So if you want to save even more power and drop even more the temperature, you can go at around 800 millivolts and do like 1700 megahertz. So how you do that, I will quickly show you. You can do like minus 250, okay? You grab the 800 millivolt voltage point, okay? And you bring it all the way up to like 1750, I think. You, but, but you have to test it again, 25 uh, megahertz at a time. You have to test it, but this, I know it will work. So as you can see, this dropped my temperature even more. But then again, you can test it out. So guys, GTX 1000 series cards, they are not obsolete yet. You just have to tune them a bit. And this can definitely help with everything. So if this video was helpful, please drop a like and a sub. I have many more tutorials on how to undervolt and overclock your hardware. And see you in the next one, guys. Bye.